display different mist approach core sensitivity than the classic GNS units. When crossing the mist approach waypoint from the final approach course with both classic and WASH units, the auto suspend enunciation will appear above the OBS key. Pressing the OBS key in both units will activate the published mist approach procedure. Mist approach course sensitivity will differ between the WAS and classic GNS units. The classic unit will provide one nautical mile sensitivity to the CDI and display a green TERM for terminal sensitivity on the lower left side of the display. The WAS unit will provide 0.3 nautical mile sensitivity to the CDI and display a green MAPR enunciation for mist approach in the lower left side of the display. When the aircraft position nears the mist approach holding fix, the WAS unit will display the hold entry and entry instructions. The WAS unit will also provide roll steering guidance to allow the autopilot to fly the holding pattern. The classic GNS unit will require that the autopilot be set to heading mode or the aircraft must be hand flown in the holding pattern. This scenario will review the difference in OBS operation between classic GNS units and WAS GNS units. We will again use the GPS runway 22 approach into McMinnville, Oregon using the Newburgh VOR transition. The aircraft is currently flying direct to Newburgh VOR. Before reaching the VOR, ATC instructs you to hold southwest over the Newburgh VOR on the 225 degree radial. The inbound course of the hold is your current directed course to the VOR. To stop auto sequencing, press the OBS key. Both the classic and WASH GNS units will enter the OBS mode, which is enunciated by the green OBS above the OBS key. Prior to reaching the VOR for the hold, ATC amends a clearance with instructions to proceed with the GPS runway 22 approach. To begin auto sequencing again in both the classic and WASH GNS units, press the OBS key. In this next scenario, we will fly the same approach with both units holding on the opposite side of the Newburgh VOR. We proceed direct to Newburgh VOR from the southwest. Our new hold instructions from ATC are to hold northeast on the Newburgh VOR 045 degree radial. This time, the inbound course for the hold is the opposite direction you are approaching from. To stop auto sequencing, press the OBS key. Both the classic and WASH GNS units will enter the OBS mode, which is enunciated with the green OBS above the OBS key. We select the 045 degree radial with the CDI course selector. We also see the course selection depicted on the moving map display showing us on the from side of the holding fix. Prior to reaching the VOR, ATC again amends the clearance to proceed with the GPS runway 22 approach from Newburgh VOR. To begin auto sequencing through the approach, press the OBS key on both units. The flight plan will reactivate and auto sequence from the Newburgh VOR. The WAS unit will display the suspend enunciation above the OBS key until the aircraft reaches the two side of the selected inbound course. This suspend enunciation is a WAS certification requirement. Pressing OBS will unsuspend flight plan sequencing and activate the next leg in the flight plan sequence. You can press the Direct 2 key and activate the leg to the Newburgh VOR if needed. The parallel track function has been added to the WASH units. This function allows the user to create a parallel course offset from the flight plan course. Here are some key features of the parallel track function. The offset distance can be set from 1 to 99 nautical miles in 1 nautical mile increments. The offset can be left or right of the flight plan course. You must have an active flight plan. The parallel track will not be available with an active leg of an instrument approach. Editing or executing a flight plan using the direct to key or loading an approach will deactivate the parallel track function. It is not possible to save the parallel track in the flight plan catalog. You can learn more about the parallel track function in your WASH units pilot's guide. 
a flight plan must be activated in the WASH unit to use the parallel track function. You will see the active flight plan leg in the flight plan page. Press the menu key and select parallel track from the submenu. Select the desired offset distance and direction. A magenta colored P will be displayed next to the waypoints defining the parallel track leg. A moving map will display the offset parallel track. Dead reckoning is a process of continuing to navigate based on your last known position and speed after GPS reception has been lost while on an active flight plan. A dead reckoning mode is only an estimate and should not be used for navigation. In the dead reckoning mode, several display changes occur. The own ship icon color is changed to yellow. The to from flag is removed from the CDI. DR appears on the left side of the map. All external inputs dependent on GPS position are flagged. Terrain is not available. Traffic and storm scope information is not shown on the map page. The dead reckoning mode is only allowed in en route and oceanic modes. In terminal or approach mode, a no GPS position is displayed on the map. Terrain is shown at a higher resolution on a WASH GNS unit in comparison to a classic GNS unit. The terrain function is now a standard feature with all WASH GNS units. If the GDL69 or 69A is installed with the WASH GNS unit, both textual and graphic data link weather provided by XM Weatherworks can be displayed. The WASH unit will display high resolution X red radar, precipitation type at the surface, temporary flight restrictions, textual and graphic METARs, and terminal aerodrome forecast. NextRad radar will be displayed for the entire continental United States. To view NextRad information in a distant location, activate the map cursor and move the cursor to the location of interest. Here is an example of how XM weather information will be depicted on the WASP GNS unit. Just off your left wing you see weather activity. Confirm it with a NextRad image overlaid on your moving map page. You can easily obtain local METAR information in that area. Audio entertainment is available from XM Satellite Radio Service when the GDL69A is installed and the service is activated. The WASH unit will serve as the display and the controller for the XM radio. We hope this presentation has helped you learn about some of the differences and enhancements from the classic GNS units and the WASH GNS 400W 500W series units. Manuals for the GNS 400W 500W series units can be downloaded from the Garmin website www.garmin.com. If you have any questions, comments, or need technical assistance with the GNS series units, please contact Garmin Product Support at 1-800-800-1020.